Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners for today's biology lesson. The topic is reception, response, and coordination in animals. So the previous lesson, we introduced uh, irritability in animals. We learned about the nervous system. We also talked about the endocrine system and the various parts that are involved. So today, we shall continue with the same, whereby we shall learn about the structure and function of the nerve cells. So when you talk of the structure and function of the nerve cells, it's worth mentioning that a nerve cell is the basic unit of a nervous system, is the smallest unit of a nervous system. And a nerve cell, also known as a neuron, is a specialized cell, is a specialized cell modified for transmission of nerve impulses. Modified for transmission of nerve impulses, which are electrical in nature. So we can start by saying that a nerve cell, also known as a neuron, is the basic or is the smallest unit of a nervous system. Is the basic unit of a nervous system. We can also say that a neuron, which is also the same as the nerve cell, is a cell modified for the transmission of electrical impulses that means electrical messages, electrical impulses from one point to another. From one point to another within the nervous system. So, just to recap a bit, a nerve cell is also known as a neuron. And it's the basic unit of a nervous system. It's the smallest unit of a nervous system. And we have said that a neuron is a cell that is modified for the transmission of electrical impulses from one point to another within the nervous system. So now... We are going to look at uh, the parts of a nerve cell or the structure of the nerve cell. And we'll simplify it a bit that uh, So we have a general structure of a nerve cell. This is a general, a general structure of a nerve cell, which we are also calling a neuron. It has a number of parts, and we are going to label the parts. There is the part that is here, that looks like a head, which is now the equivalent of a cell. We refer to it as a cell body. 
is now the equivalent of a cell, which is the cell body. And of course, that cell body has a nucleus. A cell body containing the nucleus. Then that cell body also has some extensions. We call those extensions dendrites. We refer to those extensions as dendrites. Then there is the main filament that projects from the cell body. We refer to that as the axon. Then from the axon, we have this part that surrounds the axon and we refer to it as the myelin sheath. We shall look at it in more details. Then we have a certain cell here that is next to the myelin sheath. We refer to it as the Schwann cell. Is the Schwann cell. And then we also have at the end what we call the terminal dendrites. The dendrites at the end. The terminal dendrites. Yeah, we have it like that. I think we have labeled more or less all the parts that make the general structure of a nerve cell. Now, I want us to ask ourselves one question. Why is this nerve cell elongated? Why is it long? Why is it long? It is elongated to enable transmission of nerve impulses. That's why it's a long cell. So that's why we are saying it is modified for the transmission of electrical impulses within the nervous system. Now, we will look at now those various parts that constitute uh, the nerve cell and of course their functions. So parts of a nerve cell or parts of a neuron. The first part that we shall start with is the cell body, which is the equivalent of a cell. The cell body. And we can say that cell body contains the nucleus, contains the nucleus that contains genetic material that contains genetic material. So the genetic material is found within the nucleus. The nucleus is found within the cell body. Now outside the nucleus we have the cytoplasm and that cytoplasm extends into the axon and when it extends into the axon, we refer to it as the axoplasm. The cytoplasm located within the axon is called axoplasm. So let's first of all mention the axon. And this is the main projection from the cell body is the main one, is the main projection from the cell body. Number three, number three, uh, there is uh, this myelin sheath that surrounds the axon. We have the myelin sheath. And we can say that this is a fatty layer is a fatty layer or is a fatty sheath that insulates that insulates the axon it covers the axon it insulates the axon and propagates transmission of nerve impulses Then number four, we have the Schwann cell. The Schwann cell. 
one cell is one word, and this is the one that secretes the myelin sheath. Is the one that produces the myelin sheath. It's the one that produces the fat layer. Uh, the Schwann cell produces the fat layer that we are calling the myelin sheath. And it has, the Schwann cell, it has membrane called neurilemma. Neurilemma is a membrane of the Schwann cell. So if you were to label it in the diagram here, this membrane of the Schwann cell, the Schwann cell is the entire cell, but now its membrane is referred to as the neurilemma. Then we have said that the Schwann cell is the one that secretes or produces the myelin sheath that insulates the, the axon. The other part that we need to mention are the dendrites. The dendrites, these ones are extensions that receive and transmit nerve impulses to other nerve cells, to their adjacent nerve cells. So basically those are the main parts of a neuron that we've gone through. And we started by saying that the neuron is the basic unit of a nervous system. It's the smallest unit of a nervous system. A neuron is a cell modified for the transmission of electrical impulses. And I say that uh, nerve impulses are electrical in nature. Uh, they flow like electric current. The way the current flows through a wire is the same way the nerve impulses flow along the nerve cells. Now, the general structure of a nerve cell shows a cell that is having a cell body with an extension and that extension is what we are calling the axon. <clears throat> the axon is the main projection from the cell body. We've also said that the cell body is the one that contains the nucleus and that nucleus contains genetic material. Then also we mentioned that in the axon, there is a fluid that is known as axoplasm, which is the equivalent of the cytoplasm of a cell. Then we've seen the myelin sheath. This is the sheath that insulates the axon and also helps in the propagation of the nerve impulses. We have seen the Schwann cell that secretes or that produces the myelin sheath and it has a membrane called the neurilemma. And then finally, we have seen the dendrites that are extensions that receive and also transmit uh, uh, impulses to the adjacent, to the next uh, neuron. Now, there's something uh, that also is good to mention here, that if you look at the way the myelin sheath is deposited, it's not continuous. It leaves some gaps. It leaves some gaps here. And that gap is known as node of Ranvia. So it's also good to mention that, that the gaps that are there, they are called the nodes of Ranvia. And they help to speed up. They help to speed up the transmission. So they speed up the transmission of nerve impulses. So basically, that is the structure and function of the nerve cell. So we are going to have the assignment on the same.
So there are three questions in the assignment. The first question, name the basic unit of a nervous system. Number two, draw a well-labeled a well diagram showing a neuron or a nerve cell. A well-labeled diagram. Then number three, what is the role of A, the myelin sheath? We have seen it in the diagram there. And number two, nodes of Ranvia. Nodes of Ranvia, we have seen them there at intervals. So we are going to stop there. See you next time. Thank <music> you.